Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for being on the latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that you can find on my YouTube channel and which are all designed for people like you and me who are basically only beginners in Unreal Engine and who want to figure out some basic stuff. One of those basic stuff, S or basic stuff elements is camera fade or simply put how you can fade out your scene or the level you're seeing from your camera perspective in a quick and easy manner. Now, like everything in Unreal Engine, this has a bunch of different options, how you can get the, basically the same result. And many of these are quite complicated, at least in my view. However, I found a way to do it, which is really simple. It's not that useful in many circumstances because it's pretty specific, but still it's a good inroad into the camera fade processes and at the same time it's also kind of weird because it looks like it's not logically set inside of the whole process of kind of manipulating with the player camera so here's my level and let me show you how that process of fade looks like i'm in my level here it is, it's basically a walking simulator. I took out the hands, the gun, shooting everything. You can see that in my previous video, how you can do it. And let's say that we want to fade out the whole scene using a keyboard action. For example, number one on your keyboard. To do that, we're going to open up the blueprints, the level blueprints, and we're going to look for fade camera node. Now, here's the first tricky part. If you simply open up your selection of blueprint nodes by right-clicking and look for fade camera, you won't find anything. And that's the weird part. First, you need to find this node. Get player camera manager. This is a node that actually allows you to interact and work with your player camera. And from here on out, if you go to return value and get a new selection of action taking using player camera manager object reference, if you go for fade, start camera fade. Here it is, a really simple node, which I'm going to explain pretty soon, but this node actually allows you to get that fade out, fade to black process that you want to get into your level. Now you need to trigger it somehow and we're going to trigger it by keyboard action. So place keyboard and you'll get keyboard events and we can select the number one. We have pressed, released and we're going to go for pressed and connect it to start camera fade. Now the first thing we need to mo change or modify here is from alpha to alpha. As you can see, the alpha is presently zero from and two it's zero as well. So I'm going to set this to one, which is a totally different, totally opposite value. And duration, how long does it take for this to happen? I'm going to set to three, which is three seconds. I'm going to compile and I'm going to save and let's see it in action. So I'm in my level, walking about and I'm pressing number one and there it is. Camera fade, blip, but it's back on. So for example, if you'd want to have this camera fade at the end of your level, simply having this event would allow you to again fade it out, but it's going to go back to full alpha or zero alpha where everything is still visible. To modify that, we're going to go back to this star camera fade node and we're going to check hold when finished. Also, if you have any audio music, background music in your level, you should also choose should audio fade. Yes, the audio should fade as well because otherwise your scene going to go to black, but your music or background noises or whatever will keep on playing. So right now we have hold when finished and we're going to go back into the game and press one. It's going to go to black for three seconds and it's going to stay black. Now this is 
a really simple setup and it provides a really effective in my view solution and procedure process result however you want to call it for your fade out needs of course when you're creating games there is a bunch of moments where you want or need or would like to have the fade out element including those that are triggered by different stuff not only like he pressed but for example trigger boxes that allow a level to fade out when the player reaches the end and stuff like that but this node is likely going to produce some level of difficulties when you have a more complicated fade in fade out process so i can't recommend i don't know enough about it to be honest recommend it for something that's like a total and complete full solution to fade out needs however for the start for just getting into the fade out process i don't think there's a better way or at least i didn't find one for my project there's a better way to do it because it's really simple it's really easy and when you get through this problem of needing to have the get player camera manager node before you can find start camera fade you have basically something that you can have in your game in a matter of seconds as you saw in my case so it's a big recommendation for let's say the introduction into the camera fade knowledge and arcane powers of unreal engine but it's probably not going to be enough if you want to do something more complex so there you have it hopefully this video will be useful to you hopefully it can teach you some elements that you can find beneficial to your project and your camera fade needs if it is useful please consider subscribing and leaving a like if you have any questions leave a comment there's also a bunch of other ways how you can support me on this channel the biggest of these is to go to my patreon page and start supporting me on patreon which is kind of a big deal because you're sending me money each month even if it's a buck per month but it's still a buck if you can do that that would be really awesome and i would be super grateful and super thankful but i understand that times are tough money isn't easy to find and the simplest way to support me is to yeah subscribe like leave a comment let's get chatting and let's if you can check out my new videos probably in the next week and next week after that and so forth also i have other ways of you how you can support me which includes my books on amazon which includes paypal donations cryptocurrency donations so much stuff that you can do to help me out on this channel but it all costs money but you know what doesn't just subscribing leaving a like that's completely free thanks again for watching my name is Ivica. hopefully you will find this video useful and until my next video, have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine projects. Bye bye.